So, I saw about a week ago, and it made me realize how much plot armor actually exists in this sort of media. Not because the show gives their characters plot armor, but because it doesn't. Characters who put themselves in bad situations actually have a chance of dying. In fact, for a show called These characters are quite invincible. Shows like this or Game of Thrones immediately get my respect. Not because of the shock value of killing off a character, but for making their worlds more believable, tense, and uneasy. Rather than shows like this. So I think for next fight we should definitely find some cluster. Oh, okay, so we're just gonna run straight through the hallways to burn you. Oh, we have plot armor. In this show, almost all action scenes give the person fighting hell, or in most cases, near death experiences. So if Invincible gives us a scene like this, wow. what does Mandalorian give us? Don't run out the front door, there's a bunch of doors. Okay, well, just find cover, okay? Um, That guy doesn't even have a house. How is he not dead? What are the stone troopers shooting at? Oh! Well, we found out what they're shooting at now. The robot. Now I'm in the kids. What's he gonna do? Oh, he's shooting at the ground. Awesome. That doesn't mean the Mandalorian is bad, though. You could just say it shows how capable Mando actually is. And in most action scenes in this show, there's usually some sort of character development. Wait. They said 50 years old. Species age differently. Perhaps it could live many centuries. Sadly, we'll never know. No. We'll bring it in alive. So does every hero in a story need to be in danger at all times? Of course not. Take One Punch Man. That show is literally about a man who can one punch everything. But he is still vulnerable. He is still in danger, not physically, but mentally. But when this non-superhero character like Mando has armor that will deflect literally any projectile, it loses all tension in any action scene, don't you think? But. Most of the show is about Baby Yoda, and how that little dumbass gets into dumbass situations and needs Mando to protect him. But it's okay, because, I mean, look at him. Aww. Even though it's not Baby Yoda's show, the main character, Baby Yoda, is usually in the most danger. And we want to see Mando successfully get him back to safety. But we're never like, oh, Baby Yoda might die because the Mandalorian never set the tone to be like that. Imagine if Mando did set that tone early on though. I feel it could have been a lot better given a more mature tone. I understand kids watch this show as well, and adults watch it just to see the Mandalorian kick ass, and I watch it to see Baby Yoda. But if Disney gave no guidelines or parameters for the writers of the show, and they were allowed to go crazy with it, I feel this show could have been incredible. And it just sucks because Disney can't have Baby Yoda or Mando dying off, or not being cool or cute. Because if that happens, casual fans stop watching, and they lose toy sales. And unlike Jesse J's hit pop song, Price Tag, it's all about the money, money, money. They need your money, money, money. We just want to make the world... Nah, got a conclusion. There are two sides to plot armor, a show where no character is safe, or a show where all characters are safe. I definitely love one side more than the other, but that doesn't mean one is bad. It all just really comes down to personal preference at that point, and even mood. 
Do you want to have to pay attention and be stressed? Or do you not want to feel anything and just want to see some cool shit? Whatever you pick, it doesn't matter as long as Baby Yoda's in it. <laughs>